Open Google Chrome. Open CMD. Copy the code. Paste the code here. Open new tab. Search from Chrome driver download. Click on the first link. Click on Chrome for testing availability dashboard. Open settings. Go in the about Chrome section. Check out your Chrome version. According to your Chrome version, select the required channel. Copy the link of Win32 or Win64 version of the Chrome driver based on your PC architecture. Paste the link in search and your file will be downloaded. Open File Explorer. Copy the Chrome driver.exe file. Navigate to your working directory and paste it there. Right click and select open with code. Create new file named listen.py. Let's get with coding part.
text file named speech recognition. Let's check out the XPath value of the given variables. Search for dictation.io on Google Chrome. Click on the first link. This is the basic layout of the website we are going to scrape. Click the three dots menu and select more tools. Select the element section. Now copy the XPath value of the start button. Copy full XPath value. Paste the value in the code variable. Remove span from the XPath. Now let's copy the XPath value of clear button. Copy full XPath value. Looks like I copied the XPath value to wrong variable. Let's sort it out. Remove span from both the XPath. Let's get the XPath for the text area. Copy full XPath value. Paste the value in the code variable. Add to inside the bracket as shown. Copy the Chrome driver path and paste it in the Chrome driver path variable. Copy the text file path and paste it in the output file path variable. Now we have completed the coding part. Let's run the file. Before we move ahead, check out my new video in which you can make your own chat GPT without any API and also run it locally without any internet. Getting back to topic, let's run the code. It will wait for 15 seconds to load the components and then start listening. Looks like we have some error in the code. I think I have copied the wrong XPath value for text area. Change it accordingly as shown in the video. Getting back to topic, let's run the code. It will wait for 15 seconds to load the components and then start listening. Hello Jarvis, how are you? Hello guys, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys, this is for today. We will meet in the next meeting. You can see it recognizes it in real time. Keep in mind that the XPath value might change with time and code may run into errors.